Okay, we're going to try the Ferrari Red Insane 30 Hydro. <clears throat> Got a Leopard motor in it, Turner G180 speed controller. But in this case, we're going to test out the uh, application and usefulness of some high definition video glasses. So you'll be able to uh, see what it looks like as I operate the boat. Okay. So I'll go out over there just to show you, then go around clockwise. I'll make sure I don't Okay, so let's be in the same so spot. Right, come on right over here next to me. Okay, so you're just looking right at the center of the boat. You okay. comfortable with that? Glasses comfortable and yes. everything? Mm -hmm. yeah, they looking pretty good? You yes. happy with them? Yep. I gotta get a They're picture. Great. Of you. They're great. Five, four, three, two, one. Make the turn. Coming in, we'll give it a little bit of speed. Okay, make the turn again. Slower down just a bit on that turn, it's a wide turn. And we'll bring her in after that run, coming right into the dock. So give us an idea comparison of the video glasses. Oh, okay, we're done. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. Make the turn. Come again, we'll give it a little bit of speed. Okay, make the turn again. Slow her down just a bit on that turn, it's a wide turn. And we'll bring her in after that run, coming right into the dock. So give us an idea comparison of the video glasses. Oh, okay, we're done. Well, now that you've seen the operation and hopefully the potential of these new video glasses, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about them. The video glasses uh, come in two different types as we have seen in the video. This particular pair is a wide angle, 135 degree pair of glasses. And the ones with the orange frames happen to be a 63 or a normal angle field of view. The glasses themselves uh, have high uh, quality Polaroid lenses connected with them. There is a two hour lithium battery uh, for video recording. They will support a 32 gigabyte TF SD memory card. To operate them, there is a very, very simple one button control, and that one button control is located on the right hand side of the glasses. The left hand side then has a dummy button connected with it. But we press the button for five seconds one, two, three, four, five, let the button go, 1001, 1002, and then it starts recording. We can tell it's recording because we see a green light indicating power on and a blue light indicating that it is recording. To pause the recording, I just press the button once. And to stop the recording altogether, I hold it for five seconds. And now I have recorded a segment of video on the video glasses. The interchangeable lenses with them are high impact lenses. And they come in a wide variety of colors. There is a microfiber cleaning cloth connected with it, and then also a, a very nice uh, protective case that the glasses uh, fit in. To charge or to download, there is a USB cable, USB 2, and a charger. This is a standard 110 wall volt charger that the USB cable plugs into, or if you have a laptop or a desktop computer, you can plug this in directly, and of course it plugs into the camera. The camera then, has two plugs located on the bottom near the base of the sunglasses. The first one, where my thumb is pointing, takes the memory card, which is a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. A four gigabyte card will be more than adequate. The 
back plug then uh, exposes the USB port then for both charging and if you wanted to download it. The glasses are very comfortable to wear. They uh, have a soft uh, coated feeling to them, rubbery coated feeling connected with them. Now in terms of the quality of the video, this records then in high definition mode, that's 720p at a full, and I repeat full, 30 frames a second, no jerky motion. The video format is H.264, or for those familiar with it, it's the .mov format. Again, resolution 1280 by 720p, the battery then lasting about two this, hours This on is it. a brand new product. Uh, to my knowledge, these are the first ones in the United States. I've been dealing with the owner of the company for about three years now. It's a China-based company that I visit uh, semi-annually or annually. And this, this is his best product to date. And one I think has great potential in the RC community.